Hi guys, welcome to week three, Darken, Narigen, Warpole, Caversham, Cascade. Um, fantastic work, fantastic work this week on, on Cold Mountain and exploring the, the, the conditions in that, uh, that hospital from the American Civil War and I look forward to talking about that tomorrow in our sessions. Just a quick couple of minute introduction to our work for this week. Um, and you don't need to do anything other than just think about a couple of questions I'm going to ask you. No need to write the answers down or anything, just think about these. Two big clues on this page though. M&Ms, M&Ms and mathematics, trust me, it works. And this famous figure sketched here in black and white from literature. Famous, famous story. Okay, more to come. I'm going to show you an extract who, that introduces you to a movie about this great character. See if you'll be able to tell me who he was. Okay, so question one refers to that little video you just watched. Who was that character? What is that story? And what was the message in that story? Um, Pretty famous, written a long time ago. Just tell me what you can find out. Now, this page is a quick introduction to why we need a packet of M&Ms. You need a packet of M&Ms for this work. You don't need it for Thursday, but you need to get a packet to work together in class or a packet for yourself at home to work. Um, and because the M&M company made a promise about the percentage of each color that would be evident in every pack, and we need to test that. So how on earth do we count the number of M&Ms and convert that to a, to a percentage? Just quickly, you're going to count up the number of M&Ms in a pack, you are going to split them into their different colors and work out the number of colors. Now it would be nice if there was, to find a percentage, if there were 100 M&Ms in a pack, because percent means part of a century, part of 100. So if we had 100 M&Ms and 25 were red, that's 25% are red. 35 were blue, 35% are blue. And if 67 out of 100 were green, then 67% are green. But it's not as simple as that. Your packet might have 398, or it might have 246. Same rule applies. Divide the top by the bottom. 35 divided by 398 equals 0 0.08. We're only interested in the first two decimal places, which are hundredths. So that answer is 8%. 67 divided by 246 equals 0 0.27. 27 hundredths equals 27%. That's how simple it is. That's how simple it is. Okay, okay. I want you to keep that in your mind as I challenge you with one other question. And just finally, have a look at this structure. It is made up of eight cubes, okay? So they are one cubic meter. Each of those blocks is one cubic meter, one meter high, one meter wide, one meter deep. But I want you to focus on, if I asked you to paint the faces of, of each of those cubes. Now, a cube has six faces, but, I want you to count the number of faces that you would be able to paint on this structure. And you'll see why when I challenge you with a construction tomorrow. But how many faces could you paint if you could paint top and sides of, that, of, of, that, um, of this structure? And I can see four faces on one side. So see if you can come up with a total. Pretty straightforward. But it's a bit more of a challenge tomorrow and links us back to Gulliver. <gasps>